At Bloomberg, we believe that data doesn't just measure progress. It drives better decision making. So we built the Bloomberg Gender Equality Index to provide more data on what companies are doing to advance and empower women globally and to shine a light on the policies and practices that are truly making a difference. These companies understand something I've often said. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Why wouldn't you care about gender equality? I mean, it's half the population are women. Why wouldn't half the opportunities go to those women? It's just a shame that half of the world's population does not get a level playing field. Unleashing the power of women is a huge part of capturing the global opportunities out there. These companies are all in a war for talent, and that's a powerful motivator to get this right. One of the advantages of being part of the index is that you're able to compare yourself with others. For Goldman Sachs, as a world-class human capital organization, we have to have a diverse, inclusive environment if we want to continue to attract the best people. The real problem with your talent is it goes down the escalators every night and you just pray that it comes back the next morning. When I go to universities to talk to students, they want to see a company that is committed to having gender equality in their workforce. I think your, your employees demand and they should expect transparency in what they do. You have to understand and accept that people have different views and how to build their families, and we have to respect that and include that in our policies. Parental leave is not only for women, but also for men. Having more flexibility is something that both women and men want. It's really important that we role model. I don't think you really make fundamental change unless you set it from the top. Even at the CEO level, we make our families a priority, and we are doing our best to juggle. We look at sensitive topics, like how independent your procedures are for handling sexual harassment allegations. The Me Too movement has been a real eye-opener for all sorts of people, and we can leverage that into a fresh push into what's acceptable and what's not. And whether you do an equal pay audit. And we also look at whether you make those things public. Equal pay for equal work. And I think I really fundamentally believe in that. That's one of those simple things. If you do the same work, you should be paid the same thing. <laughs> we check literally before the bonus is paid, everybody in variable compensations. How can you claim to have transparency when you're not doing those types of things? Even with the best of intentions, without data, our pulse on progress is just a hunch, a feeling at best. We measure anything and everything that we can when it comes to diversity and gender equality. For us to achieve any of our goals in gender equity, we have to set a goal in the future and say this is where we want to go. I believe that Companies can be a tremendous force for good in the world. We gotta leave the wood pile a little bit bigger than we found it. And if we do that, this place, this world will be better. It's a great example of data for good. Together, we are leading the way on a critical issue and helping to create a more equal future.